Hi, Yarnabees. It's Sandy. I am so pumped. Are you guys getting sick of yarn hauls yet? <laughs> Seems to be that's all I'm doing lately. <laughs> I got a few things in the mail that I am so mind blown, crazy, excited about. Um, what should I do first? Ooh. Okay, let's do this one first. All right. I was on Crystal from Ricola's, I keep wanting to call her Ricola aka, it's not, it's Ricola's Crochet Corner. Um, and I believe it was her live. Debbie the Canadian Crotcheter was in there. Mm. She <laughs> brought something up and I, as I'm watching her live, I'm on the computer and I'm doing this. She had mentioned a company in Canada that is called Len Mills or Lens, Lens Mills. Um, and they have yarns from all over the place and they are good priced for Canadians. Well, fair priced, I guess. Um, so I started checking it out. Thanks, Debbie. <laughs> Instantly spent, you know, $70 or so. <laughs> like the live wasn't even over and I already hit pay. Uh, and then I went back and I was like, oh, I wish I had got that yarn and that yarn and that yarn. Oh, yeah, great. So anyways, I got a couple of yarns that I had never worked with before. Mm, I take that back. I have worked with one, actually, it's sitting right there, but this color I hadn't gotten before. This other yarn that I, I got, I'd never seen before. I'd never worked for, before with before, um, but they are both James C. Brett brand. I love James C. Brett. Okay. Um, so, uh, <laughs> of course I had to buy some, right? Uh, okay, so let me see if I can get it out of the bag. Okay, here we go. Ah, this is James C. Brett Mar Marble Chunky. Okay, look at these colors. Oh, I've got a fly in here. It's driving me crazy. What is with all the flies this year? Oh, anyway, back to the pretty yarn. Look at that. Isn't that amazing? Oh, absolutely love it. I'll show you the one I had before. Okay. This is the one I had before. Oh, I just, I love this. Okay, and this one, the color is MC86. Uh, it's 100% acrylic. There's 341 yards in this ball. Okay. Now this one, the color is MC28. And yeah, it's a 200 gram ball. But aren't these beautiful? Oh, I just, I absolutely. What should I make with it? I've got two balls of it. Two balls. Oh, I'll put that one over there. Yeah, so I've got two balls of this. I don't know what to make with it. I'm thinking about maybe pairing it up with something else and making a sweater. Okay. These were $13.09 each. Pretty pricey. But it's James C. Brett. I had to. You know... It's just one of those things. <clears throat> okay. The next one I got, 
And I don't know if you say this Norse or Norsey, but um, it's when I opened it, I was like, oh, it's wool because it looks like wool, but it's not. Oh, I just I couldn't believe it. Hang on. Where is my glasses? It's a 50 gram ball. There's 92 yards, 85 meters in here. It's 88% premium acrylic, 8% polyamide, and 4% viscose. And the color, the they call it a shade. It's NK08. Uh, yeah. Look at that. Look at that. Oh, here's the label. But look at that. Does that not look like wool? The halo on this is crazy. Oh, it's so squishy soft. And I got six of these. <laughs> Oh, I'm so excited. The next one I got is the exact same thing. But I saw this and you know I had to do it. Of course, you know I had to. Look at that. Oh. For anybody that doesn't know, this is my favorite color. Like deep, deep reds. It's actually darker than showing. It's about like that. But look at that. Oh, and I got eight of those. So thanks, Debbie and Crystal, for being in yarn enablers. But, oh, like I just, oh, I can't wait to try something. The frogging on this Norse is going to be a nightmare. So hopefully I don't screw anything up and have to um, have to do anything with that. Um, each ball of that was $4.99 Canadian. Um, so, yeah. It's one of those things. I just had to do it. Okay. Also, I was on Facebook... Um, marketplace I'm on a group that's called um, Canadian I can't remember the name of it I'll put it right here but anyways it's a Facebook page for Canadians that want to do their de-stash and sell their yarn I saw a lady there that was de-stashing her Karen lattes. Really? Okay. <laughs> so, I bought every latte cake that she had. So, I got a box of 12 that came from Ontario. <laughs> and they all fit in there perfectly. Perfectly. So, here, I'll show you. Just food for thought to my fellow Canadians. 12 latte cakes fits in there perfectly. <laughs> okay, so I got, oh, I got to find room for these guys. Oh. These, these latte cakes, they don't, I don't think they sell them anymore. I think these are the, um, well, some of them might be their regular, but uh, some of them are not. So this one is the plum. I love this. Okay. Mm -hmm. So pretty. I got, oh. I remember making a shawl out of this one. This is the claret. I really hope they bring some of these back. 
probably not probably hopeful but not a reality um this one is the mineral vineyard this one is grinding teal Oh, this is my pepper ash. I made a sweater out of this. I got two of the pepper ash. Um, I got two of the um, plum. I got two of the, would help if it was upside, wasn't upside down, the mineral vineyard. Uh, I got two of the grinding teal. And I got two of the uh, claret. And then I got two of the rose scented. Look at this, you guys. Oh, whoa. <laughs> Look at all this. Eek. Ah, oh, oops. There we go. There we go. So, yeah, I got all of this. It's like, I'm in latte heaven, you guys. Absolute latte heaven. I, <clears throat> I haven't been using the, la I've got maybe three lattes left in my stash. And I haven't been using them because I keep thinking I'm not going to get any more. So I've been kind of savoring them i hope that this year they bring out some more wonderful colors and i do it every year i only buy enough for whatever project i want to work on i never buy enough for the future figures pepper ash for instance i i bought just enough and then I was making a sweater and I needed more and they didn't have any. It took me forever to find some. So, yeah. Okay. Next thing I got in the mail. Oh, I'm so stoked about this. Okay. You know how um, Crystal from Chronically Crochet made a pattern called Mr. Purse a lot. Mr. Perzalot takes 20 millimeter eyes, I think it is. Yes, I'm looking at it. <laughs> 20, is it 20 millimeters? I can't remember now. But anyway, <clears throat> um, so I got, I'm just looking at my amigurumi now, because these... Look, these are supposed to be 40 millimeter, but they're not 40 millimeter. Now that I'm looking at them. Dang it. Anyway. Um, so I saw, I happened to see a Facebook page that made me do a slingshot neck. Um, and I thought, I have to get these. They came all the way from the UK. They're hand painted safety eyes. You guys, the camera's probably not going to do these things justice. They are stunning. Look at this. Are those not gorgeous? I'm just in love. They have a whole bunch of different kinds. And they've named them all like crazy names. The company is called Dark Side, Dark Side Eyes. And these 
These ones are called Alchemist. These ones are Dark Rainbow, I think. Yeah, Dark Rainbow. And these ones are Zombie, zombie Brains. But aren't they stunning? And they are safety eyes. <clears throat> I have the backs here. Now, the unique thing about these is these are the backs. Look at how deep they are. Okay. But what happens is, let's see if I can push this up a little bit. You can see how deep these eyes are. They're called 3D eyes. Okay. When you push the back on them, these snap right inside here. And that's what makes them flat. Okay. And you push the, push the back on them and they push and it goes snap. And the eye sinks right inside. They're stunning. And consider, cons, excuse me, considering that they're hand painted, they are not that expensive. Um, like I said, they have a ton of different kinds. They have a Facebook page and Instagram and <clears throat> a website. I will leave those links down below. They have various sizes. They even have unicorn horns. Yeah. So they have lots to offer. I'm so excited about these eyes. Um, there's their symbol. Okay. <clears throat> um, go check them out because they are, they're incredible. I saw these, oops, sorry. I saw these eyes and I thought I have to have them because I want to try them. They might not work on Mr. Perzalot now that I'm looking at my Mr. Perzalot. I'm not sure, but they might work on my B, like the B pattern. And then I've got a couple of other patterns that I want to try. So I'm excited. <laughs> okay, guys, that's all I got for you today, I think. Oh, today I'm going to be receiving my hairband, um, hairband things for my sun hat. Uh, so on my next video, I will, I will wear a sun hat and show you what it looks like. Uh, what else? That's it. <laughs> okay, guys, I love you. Thanks for joining me and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.